Hello everyone, myself Bharadwas. In this video, I will discuss about Pulse Relay. Open your PLC software and on the left side scroll down and select Pulse Relay and click here. And add the comment first, which is Pulse Relay and click OK. If you see, there are three inputs, trigger, set, reset, and one output. These are digital signals. So take the digital inputs, three numbers, and take one output, connect. We will take I3 and I4 for set and reset. I1 is my input trigger, so I will just write trigger I3 is my set input, so I will write set OK connect I4 is my reset input, I will write reset and Q1 is my output. Now arrange properly. Open the PLC hardware. Now download the program. If you don't have the PLC hardware with you, no problem. Just do the simulation and verify the logic. Try to avoid only watching the videos. Do practice the programming. Meanwhile, share our videos, like our videos, and subscribe to the channel so that you will receive more updates. First, we will learn about Pulse Relay. This Pulse Relay have two functions. The first one is the input trigger. This trigger will toggle the output state. Whenever one input pulse is received from the trigger, then the output state will change. If the output is in off state, then it will be on. If the output is in on state, then it will be off. Whenever the pulse is received at the trigger input, every time the output state will change. First, we will verify that. So, whenever we give one input, at I1, input I1 is pressed and released, then output will change its state. Previously it is in off state, now it is in on state. Okay. Again, I will give one input pulse. Output is off. Again, I will give one more input pulse. Output is on. You can see here output one is on. Like that, for each time, the input pulse is there, then output will change its state off to on, on to off. Very simple. Now we will learn the second function. This is nothing but RS flip flop, latching relay. If my set input is on, one pulse is there, then output is on. If my reset input is on, then output is off. We have one additional property is there. Go to properties. Here you have the option to give 
which input have the highest priority set input or reset input by default reset input is having the high priority okay we can change that function select the second input and click okay the second input means the set input is having high priority than the reset that is what we selected click ok now i will activate input i3 output is on now i will activate input i4 output is off now again i will turn on input i4 and i will keep it like that now i will turn on input i3 set input what happens my output is on because set is having the high priority in this case the plc will ignore the status of reset it will only consider the status of set input and will activate the output accordingly for example now in this case i will make reset is having high priority that means output will be off reset means zero set means one see i will change the state again the first one i selected this is reset input is having high priority and click ok output is off reset is having priority in this case plc considers only reset input it will ignore the set input status so reset is zero output is zero like that you can select which input is having high priority which input you want to have the high priority in normal safety applications or normal applications, generally reset is having high priority. In some applications, set is also having some priority. If you have any industrial experience, share with us where you use set priority, reset priority, in which applications you can find these type of applications, priority applications. Okay, set priority, reset priority. Share with us through the comment section. Thank you. I will meet you in the next video.